Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. I was tired of my lady. We'd been together. Wait. Mm. I was tired of my guy. We'd been together too. Eh, it doesn't work. Let's just sing. I'm just going to sing the regular words. I was tired of my lady. We'd been together too long. Like a worn out recording of your favorite song. So while she lay there sleeping, I read the paper in bed. And in the personal columns, there was this letter I read. Are you guys with me here? If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, if you're not into yoga, if you have half a brain, if you like making love at midnight in the dunes on the Cape, then I'm the love that you've looked for. Right to me and escape. Didn't think about my lady. I know that sounds kind of mean. But me and my old lady had fallen into the same old dull routine. So I wrote to the paper, took out a personal ad. And though I'm nobody's poet, I thought it wasn't half bad. Yes, I like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. I'm not much into health food. I am into champagne. I've got to meet you by tomorrow noon and cut through all this red tape at a bar called O'Malley's where we'll plan our escape. So I waited with high hopes and she walked in the place. Now this is where the song gets really like, really? I knew her smiling an instant. I knew the curve of her face. It was my own lovely lady. And she said, oh, it's you. Okay, no. We'd be like, like what the? Mm. And who would be madder? Like, would he be madder because she wrote the first letter or would she be madder because he answered a personal ad? I mean, this is one screwed up couple. Honestly, this is an awful song, but we all love the we all love the chorus. If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, if you're not into yoga, if you have half a brain, if you might like if you like making love at midnight in the dunes of the Cape, I'm the lady you've looked for. Right to me and escape or something like that. Anyway, okay, that's an oldie. Who sings that one? Is he a one-hit wonder? I think it might be. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, I love that song. So, hey guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy, and you've landed on Foodie Friday. And for some reason, I'm trying, trying to think of a song that's about food, and Pina Coladas came up. I don't know why. It's not even, I mean, it's like it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I don't even drink Pina Coladas. Anyway, whatever. All right, so today is Foodie Friday, which means we're gonna try some food, and I'm so excited, because I'm starving, because I literally just got back from the gym where I burned off all these calories so that I could do Foodie Friday, because God knows I have a wedding coming up and I need to lose 20 pounds. Well, more than that, but that's just a goal, like a slight goal for the wedding. <laughs> all right, guys, listen. If you don't know where you are, you have landed on a channel that is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree, and I would encourage you to stick around just a little bit. Give this channel a chance. I think you're going to love it, and you're going to come back often because we have so much fun on this channel. Let me just tell you about a couple things. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. I think I'm at 900 right now. Well, maybe more by the time this airs. And when I hit 1,000, I'm going to do a $50 Dollar Tree gift card giveaway. But the only rule is you have to make a comment on the video where I actually go over that hump of a thousand subscribers so i don't know when that's going to be it could be this video mm, not likely it could be tomorrow's video maybe it could be next week's video so what you should do is just watch every video and make a comment besides that it causes chatter on my channel and we love that and you only need to make one comment don't make two it doesn't 
increase your odds at all because I filter out double comments. All right, so $50 Dollar Tree gift card when I hit 1,000 subscribers and also debut of my guy on the channel. He's gonna come make a video with me. All right, the other thing I need you guys to know is that I do a weekly giveaway. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, all you have to do is watch those videos be a subscriber, give me a thumbs up, make a comment on both those days, and then you're entered into a drawing to win a $20 gift card, which I draw every Tuesday. Now, normally Tuesday and Thursdays are my crafting days. Yesterday, actually, I did a haul, so I was sick earlier in the week, and so I was like, mm, didn't want to push it too much. But Tuesdays are totally easy Tuesdays. It's crafting for the non-crafter. Thursdays are theme Thursdays, and it's crafting a little bit harder, usually, with a theme. Foodie Fridays, that's today. And Saturdays are shopping Saturdays. And this channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. That means everything that I do my crafts with, all of my supplies come from Dollar Tree. And do you wanna know why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is, hey besties, say it with me, a dollar, people, a dollar. You can't beat that. What else do I need to tell you? We do a subscriber challenge every month on this, cha on this channel. So subscriber challenge is where I give you a theme or an object to buy and you make a craft and then I put that all together in a video and show it on my channel. And it's a great way to show how creative we all are. So I love that. This month was back to school, but those pictures have to be to me by tomorrow. So just wait, next week I will announce a new challenge. Um, okay, that's it, right? Yep, let's go. Do you guys, I'm starving, so I'm rushing through this. If you like pina coladas, or putting carbs in your tummy, which I do. I love carbs, they're so bad for me. So I'm gonna clear my palate with a new drink. I don't know what's so great about it, but you know, I'm always buying stuff there to tell you guys. So this is called Icelandic Glacial Natural Spring Water from Iceland. It's got a cool top, like the top looks like a, a um, ice thing. So let's see, it's carbon neutral project, naturally occurring pH 8.4 at the source. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I read it, that's all I can tell you. So it's bottled at the source, at the Ulfus Spring in Iceland. I mean, that, I don't even know why I just did that accent on it because like, how do they talk in Iceland? I feel like they are very Nordic in Iceland, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they are or not. Never been there, never gonna go. All right, um, so it's Icelandic Water Holdings, HF filter, okay, whatever. They're from, it's from Iceland, it's actually from Iceland. Oh, let's read this part, okay, this is the best part. Over 5,000 years ago, long before the first humans reached remote Iceland, a massive volcanic, a volcanic eruption created a unique underground spring, complete with its own natural filtration system, pristine lava rock. Now known as the Ulfas Spring, this is the origin of Icelandic glacial, the natural spring water, which is the source of an epic life. Epic life? Guys, I'm gonna drink this, and now guess what? I'm gonna have an epic life, because the bottle told me so. You know what it tastes like? It's weird, totally weird. Um, it tastes like water. Tastes like water. But you know, I had to try it. I had to let you guys know. It's a really cool bottle. I mean, we're paying for the bottle. Let's just admit that. That's what we're doing. All right. So today is freezer day, means all the foods came from the freezer section, which I don't do very often because when I go shopping at the Dollar Tree, I'm like usually shopping multiples. And so I can't have frozen food. It would defrost. So my glasses are dirty yet again. I think it's from the sweating at the gym, you guys. I totally think it's from that. Oh my gosh. Do you guys want to see my, my gym shirt? I have to get my thing. Hold on. I love funny gym shirts. Like I wear funny gym shirts when I go. Okay, so this one says, <laughs> I love this shirt. It says wine, puppies, tacos, gym. Now what it should say is captain, kittens, tacos, gym. In the order of priority. So anyway, I love this shirt, it's funny. And yeah, I mean, I'm not sexy when I go to the gym, but I like to have funny clothes. <laughs> Can't be sexy, be funny. All right, so let's talk about the things that we're gonna try today. So I've been seeing these in there and I was like, all right, El Monterey, they're great big, extra, extra large, like me, burritos. And I was like, okay, I've been seeing them, let's just do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. So, so funny, like, cause we're on this diet right now. So I'm not buying um, like, you know, carbs and stuff like that. So, but on Foodie Friday, then what I do is like, I'm gonna make him probably like, eggs and these burritos 
on Saturday morning because we can have the calories early in the day and just don't eat anything else for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna try them and then save them for his breakfast on Saturday. Okay, so we're trying these. Now, El Monterey is a brand name, so I'm assuming they're gonna be fine, but they're a dollar and we're gonna talk about that. Okay, then last week I tried the meat sauce, ziti with meat sauce by Main Street Kitchen, which I found out is a craft company, if I remember correctly, right guys, right? Yes, Main Street is, yeah. Um, mm, yeah, Kraft Heinz Foods. And so both of those were fine for a dollar for a um, microwave noodle meal. So they had white cheddar with bacon and meat sauce with ziti. Well, then I find this one, fettuccine alfredo with broccoli. I'm like, yeah, now that's up my alley. Alley, 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 oxen. So 220 calories. I'm trying to remember what the calories were last week. Well, it was Foodie Friday last week, which is linked below. So if you want to see the other two that I found that I tried last week. So we're going to try that one. And then snap, like, oh, snap. They have these hors d'oeuvres. And I'm like, okay, buy snaps. And so I thought, let's just get them and try them, all right? So this one is snaps, it's snacks, snaps, appetizers. Great taste, great price. 15 grams of protein per serving. So these are the mozzarella cheese sticks. Real mozzarella cheese nestled in a crispy golden coating. Okay, thanks. And then these are broccoli and cheese bite. Finely chopped broccoli and cheddar cheese baked in a golden brown shell. And then this one is real baked potato cheddar cheese sour cream flavored with bacon and a crispy golden potato loaded potato sticks. This is carb extreme. I'm probably going to crash after this foodie Friday because I'm going to have a carb crash. That's what happens. All right. So, but since I have my Icelandic water from, from uh, the Ulfus Spring, Ulfus, the Ulfus Spring, I'm, I should have totally Googled how... Icelanders talk. They probably talk just like me. <laughs> mm. No, they have an accent. Okay, I'm going to start with the burritos. So we have two of these. So let's talk about El Monterey burritos. First, the extra, extra large. We have a beef and bean burrito and then a beef and cheese burrito. Now, I don't have any salsa, and I would normally put like a salsa or something on my burritos. So we're just going cold, cold here. Not cold, like, I mean, nothing else on them. But let's talk about all of this. So they are microwavable and they're also oven. I wonder if this would fit in my fryer. Well, I'm gonna do, I, you know what? I think I'll do them in the fryer. I'm gonna do them in my air fryer because I feel like that would be better. But let's talk about it first. So ingredients are water. I have my water. Wheat flour, beans, vegetable oil, pras, pr pasteurized processed cheddar cheese blend. Mm, contains 2% or less of all these other things. Yeah, okay. This is by Ruiz, Ruiz Foods out of um, California. And it has 540 calories for one burrito. I wonder how much natural gas you get out of here too. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's the, so we know they're both exactly the same. This one is 9.5 ounce. This one is also 9.5 ounce. The difference in this one is gonna be that there's not the cheese stuff in it, all right? I'm gonna air fryer these. So um, I think I have to air fry them one at a time. I don't think they're both gonna fit in there. Oh, maybe I should, mic I'm gonna microwave one and I'm gonna air fry the other one and like let you know if there's a huge difference. Let's go do that. Okay, so they wouldn't fit in my air fryer. They're too long. So this is the, mm, I think this is the bean and cheese. I'm not sure. Well, no when I cut into them, right? They look exactly the same. Two and a half minutes because they were frozen in the, um, in the microwave. But of course, if they were thawed, it was only a minute and a half, all right? So, um, I mean, this has got to be the bean one, right? Yeah. I feel like this is so hot. Okay. I just have to show you this. I feel like this is like 90% tortilla. Maybe a little bit further in there's more beans. Okay. It tastes totally normal. Nothing phenomenal about it. So this one 
seems to be like have more oh no that was the bean and cheese i just tasted i didn't even taste any cheese how is that possible i don't know because this one's definitely the what's the one one is beef and bean and one's bean and cheese this one's definitely the beef and bean like you can see like that there's beef in there this one seems to have more stuff in it they're the same price so i don't know um yeah this one the beef and Bean seems to just have more stuff. Oh, this is gonna be so hot. They're super piping hot. These would be way better if they fit in the air fryer. I have a small air fryer, so. Because then you'd get like a crunchy outside. That's okay, we're gonna see. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Beef and the beef and bean is amazing. Mmm. Right, but to be fair, I'm gonna cut a little bit further into the bean and cheese one. So I feel like, am I missing something? Mm, I'm thinking no. Still, even when I cut into it, like that's all you see. Whereas the look at the beef and beef and bean one has more inside of it. So okay, so there's that. And you're gonna pay the same for them. Let's give the beef and cheese, bean and cheese, sorry, bean and cheese. There's beans and beef, bean and cheese. Mm hmm It's fine. Are they both the same calories? Let's see that first. Okay, the beef and bean is 690 calories. And then bean and cheese is only 540. So if you were gonna go on calorie, go with the bean and cheese. But if you're gonna go totally on taste, I would go with this one. And these are huge. You could definitely cut this in half and share it with somebody. And then you'd only have like 340 calories on half of this one. This one's excellent, like excellent. Mmm. Let me just try the beef and bean one one more time just to make sure for you guys, okay? Mm. Mm. That one is so good. Oh, totally excellent. Mm. I think I would only buy the beef and bean going forward. Like if I was going to pick those up. They're really good though. Like this is really, really good. And the bean and cheese. I mean, obviously there's not, but that's good flavor on the beef and bean. Okay, I'm, I took two bites just to make sure, just for you guys. You know why? Because I care. I have burrito in my teeth now. All right. You know what I need? Some of the Icelandic water. Why do I sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger now? I don't know. Mm -mm. Mm. From the Ulfus Spring. Was it Ulfus? Was it Ulfus? Ulfus Spring in Iceland. Okay, so this is um, the one that I didn't try last week because I hadn't found it, and now I did by Main Street Kitchen. So let's talk about this a little bit. It's nine ounces. Um, it's 220 calories, so that, I mean, 220 versus 690. It's probably gonna fill you up just as much. This is fettuccine with Alfredo, fettuccine pasta, bro broccoli, and a creamy Alfredo sauce. Um, it is distributed by, let's see, where is it? Main Street Kitchen is committed to providing the highest quality experience with our products. And so they it's Kraft Heinz Foods. This is best by November 11th of 2021. I'm going to microwave this, obviously. So when you microwave it, you I'm going to read the instructions one more time. Remove tray from outer carton. Pull back the corner to filter the vent. Cook on high for 2 minutes 30 seconds. Pull back film, stir Replace film and cook on high for two minutes. And let's stand in the microwave for one to two minutes. All right, well, let's just do that then. I promise I won't eat the burrito while I'm off camera. I can't. Too many calories, I went to the gym today. So I have to really watch, like I'm not doing this. Okay, this is what it looks like frozen. So now let's go microwave it. What did they say? Two minutes, 30 seconds. So I vented. Two 
Okay, I'll come back after I open it up, stir it, and cook it again, and let it sit. Okay, we have our fettuccine Alfredo with broccoli. Um, this is what it looks like. Looks like just kind of like what the package looks like. Um, ooh, that's hot. Okay, so so the last week when I did these two, I felt like they were kind of starchy. This one seems to have a little more um, sauce in it. So I don't know, you know why but it does okay it's so hot hmm it's good i feel like it's a little bland but it's a dollar it's a frozen meal for a dollar um i mean it's good it's actually good it'd be really great with some fresh cheese Great on top of it, adding calories, of course. You know, it's better with more calories, right? Mm. So last week, the one with bacon, I think was the best, which I thought it was gonna be gross. Um, so I don't know, like again, and it's what I said last week too, like if you're single and you're just buying some meals just, you know, to throw them in the microwave and cook yourself a meal. I think they're a great buy. I really think they're a great buy. Yeah, they taste great. They're Kraft Heinz food, I guess. Main Street Kitchen is, apparently. Um, and so I think they're totally fine. And also, like, something like that, just to add a little chicken into this, it'd be so good. And maybe even a tiny bit of milk, just to cream it up a little bit more, and some Parmesan, I think it would be phenomenal. So yeah, I would say yes on those. I've, I, I'm kind of impressed. I really expected those to be not so good and they, all three of them were fine. Um, so there you go, those are good. All right, let's get into the snaps. Oh, snap, oh, snap. Um, let's see, we're gonna have three here. Mozzarella, loaded potato sticks, and then the broccoli cheese bites. So I'm gonna cook these all three in my air fryer. I'm gonna cook them all at the same time because I think I can. So let's just talk about snaps just here for a little bit. Um, these are all five ounce servings, all right? And it says, keep frozen, great taste, great price, good source of calcium. So let's talk about calories, number one. One package has 320 calories for the broccoli, 430 for the mozzarella sticks, and 330 for the potato sticks. So the mozzarella is the highest, but I'm sure that's because of the cheese. These are distributed by Monogram Appetizers out of Plover, Wisconsin. Plover. P-L-O-V-R. That's Plover, right? Not Plover. Plover. There's a Plover, Iowa. Or there used to be. Is it still there? Anyway. Plover. Um, okay. And let's see. What else? So they have conventional oven, toaster oven, and deep fry. So that means I can air fry. Um, and if I deep fry, it says for two and two and a half minutes. So I don't know. I'm going to put them in probably for five minutes. But what I wanted to see is if the cooking instructions were the same. Yep, they are. Uh-huh. 350, 7 to 8, 4 to 6, 450. Yeah, they're all about the same. Broccoli and cheese take a little bit longer than the mozzarella, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one each of these in the air fryer and do an air fryer thing. Which would be great because then, like a nice little snack, you could put one out from each. All right, these are best by 425 of 21. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? That's what it says. Can you read that? Taking my chances. This one is best by 1021 of 21. And this one is best by 510 of 22. Well, the broccoli and cheese bites, they're out of warranty, so to speak, but we're gonna give them a try anyway. I'm not too concerned. It's a frozen product, and it's like, it's got so many things in it. What do you call those things? Preservatives in it, I'm sure. It's like crazy. All right, so the broccoli and cheese look like this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a little nugget piece in there. These have um, water, broccoli, bleached white wheat flour, cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk, cheese cultures, salt, enzymes, Anato color soybean onion blah 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 contains egg, milk, soy, and wheat. I already told you 300 calories for one of these. And that's about all I can tell you. Snap. So I'm gonna throw one of these in the air fryer. 
just one. Oh no, oh no broccoli bites. Um, and these have nine grams of protein per serving, which is the entire box, FYI, a serving is the box. All right, let's look at the potato skins. Loaded potato sticks, not skins, I'm sorry. No, I just said skins, potato sticks. So these look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven is apparently the number, lucky seven. Okay, I'm gonna put one of these little boogers in there. That's the loaded potato sticks. And then these are the mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella. Um, which, like, these are kind of like a favorite thing of mine. Look at how dark and golden brown those are. Also seven in here. So that's definitely the number. They must all weigh exactly the same because these are all five ounce packages. All right. So I'm going to go air fry them and we'll see how they taste. Okay, we have um, our broccoli and cheese, our loaded potato stick, and our mozzarella. So I did them for like 10 minutes, so the mozzarella blew up slightly, but it's probably okay still. I didn't blow up that much. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Okay, they're not like what you get in a restaurant. I feel like the um, batter is, I don't know how to explain the batter. Or the taste of the batter. Can't put my finger on it. It's like, does it say what kind of batter it is? This is in a crispy golden coating. It doesn't even call it batter, it calls it a coating. Coating is what I put on in the winter time. Um, okay, they're good. Need marinara. They need marinara. They're not very big. Yeah, I would get those. I mean, there's seven in there for a dollar. I mean, that's a pretty good little snack. 430 calories. Um, but if you're looking to snack high calorically, why not? All right, let's try. These are the broccoli and cheese bites. This is, um, again, this is 320 for the whole package for all seven pieces. So this is what it looks like in the air fryer, mind you. Mmm. These literally taste like they're baked in a in a biscuit. Oh, I like these. It's like a biscuit coating. What are they calling that coating? Baked in a golden brown shell that tastes like a biscuit. That's not what it says. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it tastes like you're eating broccoli and cheese in a biscuit. Those are good. I like those. Now, those I, I like, I think, better than the mozzarella. Mozzarella cheese sticks. All right. Let's go for the loaded potato stick. This is in a crispy golden coating, which is the same thing that the mozzarella stick said, but this was lighter colored, so I don't know. Mmm. 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 Mm. These are my favorite. Oh, I like these a lot. Like, honestly, you guys, these would make a fantastic breakfast potato. Well, of course I would. What's in them? Effing ham. <laughs> yeah, there's, it's baked potato, cheddar cheese, sour cream, and flavored with bacon. That's why they taste like a breakfast stick. And those are, how many calories for the whole box? 330. Okay, the loaded baked potato sticks, definitely my favorite. I still, I'm so, my glasses are so dirty. Okay. Wow. Oh, let's go over today. Osloff Springs. Brings you Icelandic water that tastes like water. But apparently, my life is going to get epic right now. Probably have to finish the bottle first for it to be epic. I'm guessing. I mean, I don't know. 
Mm. All right, so, I mean, it's a dollar. What makes this one, like, honestly, I don't know what makes this one any better than any other waters. It doesn't even have any added caffeine, because that's good for us, or any added um, um, electrolytes. I mean, it's a cool bottle, but what would you do with the bottle even? I don't know, so I'm never buying that again. I'm just saying, it's water. So I tried it, told you, it tastes like water. All right, let's see. Oh, the extra large El Monterrey Burritos. Bean and cheese is less calories than the meat and bean, or bean and meat, but this one, oh, upside down, sorry. This one wins, you guys. This one is super good, like super good. So they're both good. I actually think a dollar on these is a very decent buy. I mean, this is a 9.5 ounce burrito. It's a meal in here. So I kind of like that. Like I said, I think it's like, it's large enough. You can split it with somebody, make some of those refried beans that I bought last week that were so good with it. And I need to find us a Spanish rice, don't I? Although the minute rice ones that are the corn and pinto rice, that would go really good with this too. There's a whole meal. I should do that, making meals out of Dollar Tree things. I should just pull things together and make you little meals. You get like a $3 meal for, actually, you could get like two meals. So it'd be a $1.50 meal. I should show those. That's a really good idea. Somebody remind me to do that. All right. Then we went with the fettuccine Alfredo with the broccoli. Okay, so on the, on the Icelandic water, it's like, I'm not giving you a thumb. It's water. On the El Monterey burritos, I'm going to give you two thumbs up, triple thumbs up for the bean and meat one because it's so good if anybody's tried those let me know the fettuccine with broccoli so i gave these like two thumbs up last week but not necessarily for flavor it's more for convenience and i'm going to do that again so two thumbs up on this one i think it's totally fine um it tastes like just a regular broccoli it tastes like something you'd get on a buffet if that makes sense so i think that's totally fine and a very convenient like super convenient so not bad now let's go to oh snap oh snap these mm, okay I'm completely shocked. They're all good, but this one, the potato sticks, loaded potato sticks, yeah, two thumbs up. The other two, I'm gonna give one thumb up, but this one, two thumbs. So on the mozzarella sticks and the broccoli and cheese bites, um, one, I mean one, and, mm, I don't know. Like if you're gonna have a party, you'd have to buy an awful lot of these to get enough to do hors d'oeuvres with, but if you think about it, for like on the mozzarella sticks so if you spent five dollars you're gonna get 30 cheese sticks that's not bad if you're having a dinner party if you look at it from that way or if you bought you know like three and three and three or something you'd have a nice little array of hors d'oeuvres so not bad i mean i would consider that if you did do that obviously with the, the mozzarella sticks you have to have marinara dip with it and with the broccoli and cheese bites i would probably do a maybe like a sour cream dipish thing to, to serve with them. And these were just amazing. Like I'm gonna use these for a breakfast because I thought they were phenomenal. So I'll air fry them, I'll do some, I'll scramble up some eggs and serve it all together, top it with cheese. It would probably be amazing. So yeah, these are definitely my favorite. These I'm buying again as soon as the diet's over. Oh my gosh, you guys. And I'm so sore. So I used to go to the gym like every day. I. Yeah, I did really well. That started um, after I, I lost my husband. I was like, there's, I can't control so many things in my life, but I control, control what I put in my mouth and like, you know, and all that. And so exercising really, I've never exercised in my life, never been a thing. And it became a thing for me and I really enjoyed it. Well, then I met Marcus Ugh. and he wasn't an exerciser. So long story short, it sort of went by the wayside. I was still going, but not as regularly. And then COVID hit. And then I wasn't going. In my very early videos, I say, I'm on my way to the gym filming this really quickly because I was still going to the gym. So it's been like a year, I guess. No, over a year since I've really been going to the gym. So now I'm back. And I do like going to the gym. You have to force yourself to go. And it, it works way easier if you have a buddy. Do you guys even, why am I telling you about this? Oh, because I started to say I'm so sore. Because I went yesterday and did a massive workout. And then today, you know, like you do a massive workout and then you don't do it as hard the next day. And then, anyway, so I'm back. You guys have to tell me if you notice any change, like if things start toning up. Probably not. I'm too old for that crap. I'm just too old. It's not going to happen. But it's, 
I'm healthier if I do this. Okay, rambling. Hey guys, that was it. So have a great day, great week, a great life. The cats are sleeping on the most expensive cat bed ever, as always. Um, they're not doing anything. Like, I can't even get them. Kitty. Neither one moved. And Friday, for some reason, has decided that he has to sleep where my pillow is. It just doesn't matter. He, I move him, and he's fine. So last night, he was sleeping next to me. And um, I was like, oh, my gosh, like, I have to move. So I put my arm on him. He didn't even flinch. He was like, yeah, just rest your arm on me, Mom. I don't care. He's so lovey-dovey these days. I think it's because we left for a week, and it really sent him into shock. Anyway. Um, I hope you guys liked the video yesterday, though, of him on the ladder. Because if we pull out the ladder, that cat is up there so fast. He loves to be on a ladder. I should make, like, a cat ladder. <gasps> Ooh, that'd be fun. Find an old ladder and make it, like, a cat ladder that they could climb up on and have a bed. Mm, I'm going to look for one of those. Okay, have a great day, great week, great life, everybody. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. And don't forget, tomorrow is shopping haul. Yesterday we did the fall haul, which was fun. And now we're gonna do a regular shopping haul. So be back here for that tomorrow. Thanks so much. Don't forget, thousand subscribers. Let's go, let's go. Share, like, comment, all those things. Share, please. Thanks, Laura Lee, because she shared it on, uh, she sent me a message on Instagram. She shared it, so sweet of you. And thank you so much, Laura Lee. I so very much appreciate it. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. I'll see you tomorrow.